okay guys good morning everyone today we are going to continue with our tutorial on the basic physics of ultrasound and today we are going to talk mainly about the Doppler uh, ultrasound and how does it work uh, the Doppler effect as a definition is defined as the apparent the keyword is apparent apparent change in the received frequency due to relative motion between a sound source and a sound receiver what does that mean يعني اذا انت راكب سياره وصديقك واقف بالشارع السياره فاتت من من يم صديقك اوكي بالنسبه لك انت راكب بالسياره ها سياره صوتها عادي ماكو اي تغيير بي مجرد ماشيه بح... يعني نفس الفريكوانسي لانه انت as a receiver والسيارة you are moving at the same direction in the same speed at the same time يعني you are moving together بالنسبة إليك السيارة واقفة غير متحركة لأنه انتوا تتحركون مع بعض اوكي بالنسبة لصاحبك الواقف بالشارع لا السيارة متحركة وهو واقف فراح يسمع الصوت مال السيارة يصعد ثم ينزل صح؟ انت واقف في الشارع تسمع صوت السيارات يصعد يقترب منك يوصل اعلى شيء بعدين من تروح يبدا ينخفض لما يبعد بس اللي راكب بالسياره الصوت ثابت ما متغير ليش؟ لانه اتس ابرنت ظاهري مو حقيقي تشينج ان ذا فريكونسي اوف ذا ساوند وين ذا ساوند سورس از موفينج اند ذا ريسيفر از نوت موفينج ذير ويل بي ابرنت تشينج ان ذا فريكونسي اوف ذا ساوند When the sound source is moving towards you, towards the receiver, the frequency you hear will be higher than the real frequency. When the sound source is moving away from you, the frequency will be lower than the real frequency. يعني يصعد ينزل. Why? Because it's increasing and then decreasing, apparently, not real. Okay. If the sound source is moving, and the receiving, the receiver is not moving, the 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 frequency that will be heard by the receiver will be different from the real frequency, according to the direction of movement, towards or away. If it is toward the receiver, the frequency will be higher. If it is away from the receiver, huh? The frequency will be what? Lower, lower than the real frequency. Okay. Okay. So, how can we use that in ultrasound? We can use it to evaluate or quantify the blood flow. Okay, because the the transducer is the source of the sound and the receiver of the sound. The transducer, يبعث الصوت ويدز الصوت. The probe. هو اللي يدز الالتراساوند ويستلم الالتراساوند. So flow is more blood flow it is a motion relative to the transducer. يعني blood is moving with the transducer fixed. Okay. So when you send the sound the sound will be reflected from the flowing blood. يعني صار كأنه كأنه الساوند هو ال ال source of the sound. ال sorry the blood the moving blood is the source of the sound. هو بالحقيقة البروب نفسه هو السورس اوف ذا ساوند اوكي بس من يصير له ريفلكشن ويسمع البروب يشوف البروب كانه هو السورس اوف ذا ساوند يصير هو البلاد نفسه يعني من يجي ايكو من الموفينج بلاد يقول لك وين السورس مال هذا الايكو؟ ذيس موفينج بلاد زين منين اجى الصوت اصلا اللي هو طال ايكو؟ من البروب اوكي مفهوم؟ تمام. So the Doppler produces audible signal, signal that we can hear, audible signal, as well as well as a graphical representation of the flow. We can draw it as a spectral waveform. نقدر نرسمه. يعني ultrasound we cannot hear it. هو ultrasound. بس the Doppler يطلع audible within the hearing range. Okay? So the Doppler shift produced by moving blood is calculated by ultrasound system using the following equation. It's an equation. 
cosine I don't know what I, I don't care about it that much but you know it's just an equation a difference between the transmitted frequency and received frequency يعني إذا إحنا دزينا sound wave okay إذا إحنا we send a sound wave that is 5 megahertz the probe does sound wave 5 megahertz probe uh, curvy linear probe 5 megahertz okay هذا السند الريسيفت اجى 5.2 ميجا هرتز فالريسيفت مور ذان ذا سند يعني البلاد از فلوينج تاورز لو اواي فروم ذا بروب تاور بيكوز ذا ريسيفت دي فريكونسي از هاير ذان ذا ترانسميتد دي فريكونسي سمبل اف وي سند الترا ساوند ويف 5 ميجا هرتز وي ريسيفت 4.8 ميجا هرتز So the blood flowing is away from the received, from the probe. Tama? So we can't differentiate. There is a, if we send 5 megahertz, we received 5 megahertz. What does that mean? There is no movement. There is no Doppler signal. It's a state, static in its place. It's not moving away. It's not moving towards. It's not moving. Okay? So we know the frequency that is sent. All we have to do is to measure the frequency received. If it is higher, it is toward the probe. If it is lower, it is away from the probe. As simple as that, okay? So the spectral waveform, we need to write it like curve, spectrum, which huh? represents the audible signal. That's the issue that we're going to okay? So it will give us information about the direction of the flow. Is it toward or away from the probe? How fast is the flow? Yani. If the received signal is 5.2 or the received signal is 5.5, which one is faster? 5.5 will be faster than 5.2. So we can know the speed of the flowing blood. How much is it? And in which direction is it? Huh? And the quality of blood, the blood flow, is it normal or abnormal? Hasab shikli care. Okay? Yani if we are making Doppler of an artery, curve will be systolic, diastolic, systolic, diastolic. If it is vein, it will be almost constant, things like that. Okay? So, regarding the direction of flow, the flow toward the transducer, it is above the baseline. If we draw the baseline, the machine draws the baseline, the zero baseline. If it is toward, يعني received the frequency higher than the transmitted frequency, يعني the zenith 5, Reject 5.2, 5.3. Huh? The flow is toward the transducer. Come on. So it will be above the baseline. If it is away from the transducer, يعني lower frequency, it will be below the baseline. Okay? سهلة. In order to have a good representation of the direction of flow, huh? or the good detection of a flow, the angle between the probe and the flowing blood, يعني preferably less than 60 degrees. يعني هاي الانجل اقل من 60 درجة. This angle should be preferably to get the best results should be less than 60. Okay? What is the worst angle that you can work with? 90. If you put it vertical, vertical on the flowing blood there will be zero signal nothing flowing blood but nothing why because imagine you and the car at 90 degrees together there will be no shift in the frequency there is no shift okay what is the best angle that you can work with? No. No. The best angle? Zero. If you put the probe here, there will be the best angle, but it is impossible to put the probe inside the artery. Yani parallel to it, zero angle. This is the most perfect angle because you get the maximum shift. يعني إذا أنت واقف والسيارة جاية عليك جاية عليك تدعمك you will hear the best shift in the Doppler sound 
راح يصعد الصوت وبسرعه الفريكونسي اوكي بس اذا انت واقف سياره جايه عليك انت راح تروح المستشفى ف ات از امبوسيبل تو بوت زيرو ويف اذا شويه عن السياره اوكي انجل سمول بط يعني از سمول از بوسيبل بدون ان تدعمك السياره اوكي بي كيرف دونت تراي ذات ات هوم اوكي سو ذا بيست انجل از سوري ذا ورست انجل از 90 فيري باد انجل بيكوز كوساين 90 از نو دوبلر شيفت اف يو بوت ات لايك ذات تحط كلر تحط كيرف تحط تزيد سنسيتيفيتي نوثينج زيرو اوكي اف يو بوت ات ليس ذان 60 There will be good Doppler shift. If you make it zero, there will be the best Doppler shift. But it is impossible. So the velocity of the flow, how much the blood is flowing at which velocity? 60 centimeter per second, 100 centimeter per second, 10 centimeter per second. It by it's done by measuring the spectral trace, providing information about this velocity. So this is the shift in the frequency. How much does it? And how it corresponds to how much velocity. يعني إذا شفت مثلاً 0.1 megahertz معناها 10 سنتيمتر فرغاً. If shift 0.2 megahertz معناها 20 سنتيمتر and so on. If get shift, how much the shift is? You we can calculate the speed of the flowing blood. Okay. So faster flow will result in higher shift. While slower flow will result in lower shift, less shift. Okay, till now, then. What if the velocity is too high to display? Very fast blood, very fast. That on the curve, that you'll get, yeah, the peak of the spectrum will be outside the display. Okay, what will happen? What will happen? عندنا something called aliasing artifact or wrap around. Sometimes they call it wrap around. Wrap around the peak will be seen from below. يعني قمة ال curve تطلع من جوا. This is aliasing artifact or wrap around. يعني كأنه curve مدور فيطلع من جوا ال ال peak. Okay. So what do you do? The Doppler. This means that the Doppler sample rate is not adequate for high velocity shifts. You have stenosis in an artery. Post stenotic velocity will be higher, much increased. The the peak of the curve will be from below. We'll see from indicating an aliasing artifact. So, what you need to do? Just increase the spectral display. Increase the PRF. Increase the display velocity. You increase it. هاي الكيرف راح يجي منه، البيك راح يطلع منه. بس increase the range of velocities displayed in this spectrum. يعني إذا منا from here to here 10 سنتيمتر، from here to here 10 سنتيمتر، this 20. All you need to do is to increase it. Make it from here to here 10, from here to here 10, from here to here 10 and 10. Make it 40. This will correct the aliasing artifact. Okay? About the quality of the flow. We, some examples of common measurement of the trace provide values. We can measure some make some measurements on the spectrum, and will result in values displayed. These values are, for example, maximum velocity, mean velocity, resistive index, pulsatility index, acceleration and deceleration times, volume flows, shunt, pressure gradients. All of these can be measured from the curve. Okay, there are equations for each of them. We, we will not talk about them now. So, spectral analysis, how to analyze the spectrum. We have a spectrum. How to, what does this spectrum mean? Each of the measurements has a normal range. High RI, PI, will mean velocity, peak systolic, end diastolic, all of them. They have normal range of values according to the clinical application. So, the amount of disease present is based on the calculated values. Okay? The window provide information about the quality of flow. The displayed measurement, you can see this is a low resisting, low, low resistance pattern, high resistance pattern, this is venous flow pattern, 
حسب شكل السبكترم راح يعطينا معلومات وات ار وي ميجرينج اوكي لو نعسنا زين جود This is spectrum. According to it, we can measure the peak systolic, the end diastolic, the mean velocity, the resistive index, the pulsatility index. You can measure the window below it. Is it big? Is it uh, tardus parvus? Whatever. حسب شكل ال curve. Okay. Now we should know something about what's called the laminar flow. What's the laminar flow? When blood is flowing in an artery. Okay. Big artery, nice, disease-free, nothing normal artery, smooth, intimate, blood is flowing smoothly. What will happen? Not all the blood everywhere will flow in the same pattern, at the same speed. La, غلط, wrong, okay? There will be layers of blood flow. Blood on the periphery will flow slower than the blood in the center. Homogeneous, all of them in the same direction at the same time, but at different velocities. Laminar flow. The fastest blood flow will be in the center. The slowest will be in the periphery. Laminar flow. Okay? So, you cannot take a Doppler signal at the periphery. You will have slow spectrum. Wrong. You need to make it at the center to have the fastest blood flow and the maximum Doppler shift. And the best signal. Okay? Now, this is in a normal vessel, normal artery. What if we have a plague, we have a narrowing, we have a stenosis in the vessel? What will happen? You have laminar flow, then there is a plague. The plague narrows the lumen of the artery. Okay? So, what will happen? Blood will start squeezing into the plague and Getting from the other side at a very high velocity in a turbulent flow. راح يتخربط. Turbulent is it. Okay? ببساطة. تخيل أنت واقف في العصرية لازم صوندة وقاعد ترش بالباب. ترش. Okay? المي ضعيف. إيش راح يسوي؟ يسوي stenosis. بالصوندة حتى المي يصير جت. حتى يصير عندك post stenotic increased velocity. والما يصير يروح بعيد نفس الفكرة بليك تسوي ستينوسيس بوست ستينوتيك البلد will be turbulent and high velocity اوكي لما تحط الصوندة هي تبلقى عادي الما يطلع منها in a laminar flow at a slow velocity when you make a stenosis the, blood, the water will be out of the tube in a fast and turbulent pattern اوكي we have different types of doppler You have the continuous wave Doppler, we have the pulse wave Doppler, and we'll talk about them briefly. So, continuous wave Doppler use different crystals to send and receive continuously. A crystal for sending, crystal for receiving in the probe. Okay? So, one crystal constantly send, uh, and the other constantly receive the reflected signal. Co uh, continuous wave Doppler. CW on the machine, it's written. There is a button called CW, continuous wave. You have two crystals, one sending and one receiving. Okay? What about pulse Doppler? Pulse Doppler produces short pulses of sound. Okay? Not continuously sending and receiving. Okay? You use the same crystal to send and receive. Pulse, receive. Pulse, receive. Pulse, receive. That's why it's called pulsed Doppler, not continuous. Okay? The same principle used in the normal ultrasound 2D image. Well, crystal sends or receive with live frame. Musa? Zim. Now, the continuous wave is widely used in cardiology. Continuous wave Doppler, they use it mainly in cardiology. It requires the ability to display very high velocities without aliasing. Okay? Yani in echocardiogram, they used continuous wave Doppler. We don't use it. We use Pulse wave Doppler. Okay? So, what are the criteria that defines good Doppler study? Yani when you see a Doppler exam, you say this is a good Doppler exam. Or this is a bad Doppler exam. According to what? Based on what? 
First, you should have no background noise. Spectrum is clear, not no noise behind it. Oh, the color displayed on the screen is clear, no speckles of color outside the vessel lumen. Okay, the clean uh, the window uh, or the envelope is in normal floor state. You have clear audible signal. Sound is nice and clear, and you have accurate display of velocities. Peak systolic and diastolic should be accurate and clearly displayed. If you have all these criteria, you have a good Doppler study. Okay, what are the challenges that make good Doppler study difficult or might make it difficult? First, you have to obtain an appropriate Doppler signal. Sometimes it's not that easy to make an angle less than 60. You need to change the position of the patient, change the position of the probe, change the angle, make a lot of variations to make the angle less than 60 and make a good Doppler display. Okay? Doppler in deep vessels or large patients, as we said, it's difficult. Someone obese, bulky, uh, immobile, uh, have some sort of edema in the tissue, swelling, it will make the Doppler signal difficult. Okay? <clears throat> Displaying the image without aliasing found in abnormal flow states in the power pulsed wave Doppler. Okay, you need to display it without aliasing, make correct selection of the velocities. Okay? And the exact site of sampling, where you put your 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 cursor, the sample uh, volume, in the center or in the periphery of the artery, you need to be sure that this is the center. Sometimes the probe moves, the patient moves, the vessel moves, and you'll have a bad Doppler display. These are things that make it difficult. But you should try till you get a good Doppler result. Okay? Now, regarding color Doppler imaging, why do we use color? Okay? We use color to visualize the flowing blood and to differentiate it from the surrounding tissues. We know that this part of the liver is just an artery or just a vein. It is not a cyst, not a tumor, not... How do we know? By putting color, okay? Second, it provides some sort of a map or where to displace the sample volume. And you put color, and from the color, you can know where to put your sample حتى تشوف spectrum. الكيرسر مالتك وين تحطه بالسنتر بالبريفري إذا أنت ما تعرف ال dimensions or the diameter of the artery you will not know where is the center okay or where is the highest velocity sometimes you don't know where is the maximum velocity you put color and you see okay <clears throat> the basic questions are is there flow what direction is it and how fast is it three questions to ask is there a flow in which direction toward the probe or away from the probe and how fast is it is it fast is it slow Okay, so what's the color Doppler? Color Doppler is a form of Doppler exam that utilizes pulse echo to generate a color image. Pulse wave, send, receive, send, receive, send, receive, to generate what? Color, okay? Superimposed on a 2D image. You, 2D image, color, uh, gray scale, يعني, black and white, okay? And the color image, uh, على gray image, gray scale image, color wave, color pattern, the, for the flowing parts, okay? The red, uh, the red and the blue this display provides information regarding the direction and the velocity. Red or blue, direction and velocity. Be careful, direction and velocity, not arterial or venous. Common mistake people think that the red is arterial and the blue is venous. This is very, very, very wrong. Okay? It's just the direction. Is it toward the probe or away from the probe? If it is toward, it is red. If it is away, it's blue. That's it. An artery can be blue. A vein can be red. Artery can be red. Vein can be blue. Hasab, direction of the blood flow and the direction of the probe. Yeah, if you have blood flowing, if this is the probe, blood flowing toward the probe, it will be red. 
away from the probe will be blue just change the direction of the probe there will be blood flowing away in this way blue okay and toward will be red you all you have to do is just to change the direction of the probe no relation with the oxygenation of the blood whether it's an artery or a vein nothing to do with the oxygenation okay and the more the color the faster velocity the higher the the more intense the color my blood is flowing faster okay so usually on the screen you have this scale okay up means towards down means away you can make it in this way or in this way you can make color red or color blue as you like okay you can just reverse it there is a bottom inverse you click it and the, everything will be upside down let's say black excuse me yeah, the color is blue, yes just click on the uh, reverse flow or inverse let's say you call it next or you can change your probe direction or let's say result okay so flow direction is determined by the orientation of the transducer to the vessel chamber like we said in a minute if the flow like if the transducer is like this the flow will be toward will be red and the way will be blue if you change the transducer like this same black okay so <clears throat> direction of the flow with color linear transducer display a square shaped color box is a linear Rahikun will display square shaped مربع, okay which steers from right to left and to provide double angle you can steer it to the right to the right to the left as you like okay but aslan huwa box you can steer it to the right or yani maka ma tharak eedak tharak al box instead of moving your head you change the shape of the box eedak thabta al box tharak the machine will change the direction of the ultrasound Okay. All other transducers display a sector-shaped color box. Okay, like this, which is adjusted in position by using trackball. You can put it up, put it down, and take a mouse. Okay, but you cannot steer it. How is it laid? Sector shape. Linear produces a square or box shape. Okay. So region of interest. Region of interest position, the box must approach the vessel or uh, at the angle other than 90. Any angle more uh, other than 90 is okay, but preferably less than 60. Okay. Follow following the Doppler principle, we are we have uh, will be a little or no color display at the perpendicular. This if you make it 90, there will be no color signal. Okay. The larger region of interest, the lower the frame rate. يعني كل ما البوكس مالتك السامبل لارجر الصوره تصير ابطا تقوم تقطع مهما كان المشين جود تكبر البوكس الفريم ريت تقل يقوم يبطا تصغر البوكس الفريم ريت سريع سو يو نيد تو ميك از بوسيبل از سمول قدر الامكان حتى شنو؟ لا المشين لا تقطع وياك لا توقف تبطع لانه الفريم ريت يقل اوكي؟ يعني واحد يقول لك اوكي نحط البوكس على كبر السكرين ونشوف كل الفلوينج بلاد ايفريوير اتس ا جود ايديا بات يو هاف ا فيري سلو فريم ريت راح تطلع روحك حتى تفحص المريض اوكي؟ Unlike pulse wave or color uh, or continuous wave Doppler, color estimates the mean velocity using the auto correlation technique. Each echo is correlated with the corresponding echo from the previous pulse, thus determining the motion that is occurred during each pulse. Yani, what she said, pulse receive, pulse receive. The second pulse compared with the first pulse. We can get the shift. هو يعطيني المين فيلوسيتي يعني هذا الكلر هو المين فيلوسيتي كومبيرد للبريفيوس فريم يعني قارن فريم ويا فريم فريم ويا فريم اوكي فيطلع لنا المين فيلوسيتي مال هاي وذ ذيس بارت اوكي سو ذا شيدنج اوف ذا كلر بروفايدز انفورميشن اباوت ذا فيلوسيتي اوف ذا فلو 
the deeper the shade red or blue the slower the flow or the lighter the shade the faster the flow يعني كل ما يقدر مثلا if we have towards the transducer red away from the transducer blue okay the more bright the more orange to yellow color معناها faster blood the more dark معناها slower flow okay so if you have color very bright like مثل على أصفر يصير على yellow معناها very fast flow okay so what is what if the flow velocity is traveling faster than the uh, uh, light shade represented on the map راح يصير aliasing شنو هو aliasing it will wraps to the opposite color this is a displacement of sample volume يعني نفس ال aliasing artifact بالspectrum مو قلنا الأبيكس apex will be displayed from downward نفس الشيء إذا very fast flow ال apex will be in blue ما كان ما تصير red very bright إذا هو كلش كلش very fast flow it will be in blue يصير aliasing شوف red وبنص ال red blue fastest part We call it turbid, but يعني as a reporting, okay. But in fact, it is an aliasing artifact. So what you need to do increase the scale displayed حتى ال ال هذا ال blue يرجع على برتقالي أو أصفر, okay. حتى ليصير aliasing, okay. Good. So now last slide components of the ultrasound machine. Very simple. We have a display screen. We have a CPU processor. Of the laptop, okay. Of the computer, you have a keyboard, you have a disk storage to store your images, you have a printer, and you have a transducer. Transducer, you can change the frequency, the duration, and the scan mode. And you put the transducer on the patient. The transducer has a piezoelectric crystal and a backing material to fix the crystal. And this is the way that all of the ultrasound machine works. Differs between one machine and the other, but the principle is the same. Okay, any questions?